So my fail in a sentence is not to get too down in the detail of tech whilst you're launching a new platform or something similar and forget about your profile with the rest of the business. So, have you heard of the film Filled of Dreams with Kevin Costner? Build it and they will come? Well, that's kind of what we did. We put the platform out there, we seeded it with content, but we didn't actually try to find out what people actually needed, what was going to be valuable for them. We made those assumptions as an L&D team. My fail was not really understanding a client brief before I delivered a workshop. My mistake was, rather than working with them in the open plan office, I stayed in a back room dealing with management accounts, details and Excel spreadsheets, rather than working on the people. My failure in this instance was really a failure just not to enjoy what I was doing. When uh, we were first implementing our learning transformation program at Empower, uh, I, well, I've, I've realised the importance of making sure that L&D and internal comms were integrated in their approach. Uh, I never really quite managed to get the, us to work with him on a joint strategy. Focusing on a very particular audience meant that I was thinking in a very small scale and I didn't realise the potential that this collection had. We needed to organise a navigation system um, so that users could easily find the content that they wanted and, uh, and interact with it quickly but also travel across the different areas. The mistake we made was using those departmental titles, production, technology, journalism, uh, as, as the main navigation uh, on the site. I actually failed at storytelling, and it had consequences for 10 years in my life. We have so many opinions and comments and distractions, it's very difficult sometimes to know what your gut is actually saying. And where I fail to listen to it, I've made some poor choices or decisions um, occasionally in recruitment. And where you have a failed recruitment, that can have a, a huge financial impact uh, on the business and also emotionally too. You want to bring together learning professionals to share their failures and what they learn from it, but it always almost became a failure in itself. Yes, because when we were organizing the first edition of the event, uh, we had a great concept which we were very happy about, but along the way more and more stakeholders or people wanted to deliver input and their opinion. Um, for example, on if we had the right target audience and if the name was okay. My epic fail is when I was left to run a program I knew nothing about and I made a complete pig's ear of it. So you're doing a, a design and you've agreed the scope of the content with the client, but then it emerges that the client wants to uh, put more and more content into it and you, you are going to toss with them, but in the end you have to back down. So the client gets their way. All the content is crammed into the course. The, it, the whole uh, interactivity and the whole sort of uh, experience is, is diluted. I uh, used to work for myself, and it's very easy in that situation to end up relying only on yourself. My biggest fail was to hang on to an idea long after its sell-by date, and by long, I mean 10 years.